Could you accept and participate in the unibrow movement? Well, one model, she's trying to make it become a beauty standard. An inspirational model that's famed for trying to challenge beauty standards is saying that she's been trolled because of her unibrows and has even been told to just leave the earth. And trolls can say some pretty crazy things and leave some very vulgar comments. And she said she's gotten used to them being sent to her on a daily basis, but she is a beautiful model. Her name is Sophia and she is 26 years old. And she's founded the hashtag unibrow movement to encourage people to accept things about themselves that society tells them not to. Her body positive campaign has resulted in half a million Instagram followers and this fashion model has worked with brands such as John Paul Gaultier, Louboutin, Hugo Boss and Valentino. So definitely some big names there. And she hasn't had to change her looks to conform to what the beauty standards in the U.S. tend to be when it comes to the brows. But not all of the responses that she has received have been positive, and she spoke about them recently. Sophia, who lives in London, is a first-generation Greek Cypriot American. She says, I get hate comments every single day. I don't even keep track of them anymore because I do believe they are just not used to seeing someone accept and flaunt something that they believe is quote unquote textbook unattractive. I think for many trolls, it bothers them to see me do something they could never do because of how conditioned they are to one form of beauty. People tell me to die so many times online, which is sad. Still, ultimately, if I am normalizing something like having a unibrow, then hopefully one day future generations won't receive as harsh of criticism as I do now because it will be more common. I don't do this for attention. I do this because I like how it looks. I don't think it is anyone else's place to try to disrespect me into changing. It just makes me want to be more out there to give them something to be annoyed about. And unfortunately for trolls, the disparaging remarks have a minimal impact on Sophia, who has become at this point desensitized by the insults, which we applaud because having disparaging comments come at you on a regular basis is definitely not something anyone should look forward to or get pressured into changing themselves because people are making disparaging comments about them. And despite the constant trolling, her movement has been more powerful than she could have even envisioned. She says, I wouldn't have ever expected it to get as big as it has, and I'm so proud. I know many incredible people online who were scouted by casting directors for massive campaigns through the hashtag. It is gratifying to know that this little community I started online has grown into a full-on movement of strong and different people. Her parents are also proud having come to America so she and her brother could have a better life than they did growing out. And now they get to see their daughter on billboards and airports or on magazine covers in the shops. She says, when I was young, those things felt so out of reach. The idea of celebrities was so general to me and it's cool to know the people I grew up watching and listening to are close friends of mine now. My parents always taught me who you are is what you are. And if you are a kind and good person, it will translate externally. I owe everything to my parents for teaching me the things I try to teach to others today. And so basically the unibrows that she has, they are normal for her. It is in her genetics. Unibrows, it's not something that everyone has. Here at Carolina Eye Candy, where we specialize in brow grooming, brow shaping, brow tinting, brow lamination. Brows definitely are extremely important to a person's face. Almost everyone has a few hairs that grows in between, but it isn't for the norm for everyone to have 
a what is called unibrow where your brow just continues from one end to the eye on one side to the other end of the eye on the other side where there is no breakage in between. So that isn't normal for everyone. It's not okay for trolls to troll people for the looks that they have been born with, but it isn't something that you see on an everyday basis for people to have a unibrow. She, from her culture, being a Greek Cypriot of Greek Cypriot heritage, this is something that is in her genetics. And yes, there are some people in America who have unibrows in their genetics, but it still is a genetic disposition for anyone to have a unibrow. It is not something that is normal. It is not to say that because we specialize in brows here that we don't believe that you should not have a unibrow. If that's what someone wants to have and it is what they have, then we will do our best to just keep the brows groomed in shape and you can see by her brows that it's not that she doesn't shape them or groom them. She's just not removing those hairs in the middle. Now, I have to say that because we do groom brows hair, it is just looking at it very tempting to just want to clean it up just a smidge just a tad even if she did not want to completely clean the middle area it would be i believe something that would just even make her eyes pop a bit more because of how thick her brow hairs are as well as how dark they are her eyes tend to look a bit more closed because of the unibrow and she clearly loves to wear makeup she has lashes on and i'm not sure if she's had any facial enhancements but it's possible she may have had some lip plumping done maybe some lip filler and it's even possible that she may have had her breasts enhanced as well i do not know but for her to create a body positive movement based on the unibrows we think that is absolutely stellar for her to do that that she is able to encourage and comfort others that may be dealing with the same things that she dealt with but they were looking at it in a different way maybe they were called names or trolled or called freakish or things like that but she has made this something that is popular something that is to be accepted whether people like it or not she accepts it and she has benefited from it because it hasn't stopped her from being hired to work with some of the biggest names in fashion. So that's absolutely amazing. But some people may have a gap in between their teeth and it has been seen in fashion where someone may be encouraged to close the gap because it's not marketable, but some people say, well, this is what I was born with, this is what I want to have, and I'm going to keep it, and they've learned to work with it in that way. So she just wants to work with what she has and not remove anything from it, but just keep them clean, keep them groomed, and we commend her for doing so. But no one should ever be trolled for wanting to keep the looks that they were born with. But unibrows are not something that most people see every day. So it definitely is a different look and feel. And if it's something that someone has and they've learned to live with it and they want to accept it, then we believe that that's absolutely beautiful. Let us know your thoughts about the unibrows in the comment section. And until next time, we wish you much beauty and many blessings.